Sometimes when I want to be deliberately annoyed, I go on Twitter and I search prior authorizations and I read stories about how insurance companies need to be told why patients need albuterol, insulin, EpiPens, imaging, cancer screenings, and more. But here's the thing, rants alone are not going to expedite the prior authorization process and we really need to fix this glitch in delivering patient care. Maybe artificial intelligence is the answer. It also kind of feels like the answer to everything right now. First, let's outline the problem. Here are some numbers directly from the American Medical Association. About 80% of physicians say that prior authorizations have led to treatment abandonment. 33% say that they've caused a serious adverse event. And about 90% of physicians say prior authorizations negatively impact patient outcomes. Here's another number. A 2021 Kaiser Family Foundation issue brief stated that 99% of Medicare Advantage enrollees are in plans that require prior authorizations for some services, including mental health services. At the state level, there is some advocacy and pushback. Some states have gold card laws exempting certain physicians with a good track record over the past year from having to deal with prior authorizations. Michigan passed a law supporting transparency and automation of the process. New York prohibits prior authorizations for inpatient mental health care for minors. And California recently introduced and passed Senate Bill SB 598, which removes prior authorizations for a year with some asterisks. All this advocacy is surrounding the use of prior authorizations, but guess what? They still exist, they're still cumbersome. Maybe modern tech can help because technology should be in favor of patients, not insurers. A recent ProPublica article reported on Cigna's PXDX system, which is part of its review process, and enabled doctors to instantly reject claims without actually reviewing patient data. In the article, a former Cigna employee reported that the system was so efficient that it could take 10 seconds to reject 50 claims. There's already support for programs such as FastPath or Fast Prior Authorization Technology Highway, which are basically electronic ways around the cumbersome manual process. Because right now, prior authorizations require a lot of data entry, phone calls, even faxes. Why are we still using fax machines, by the way? But here's a huge announcement from Google that has people excited, including me. Google recently announced the Claims Acceleration Suite, which is basically a set of artificial tools that will help streamline this entire process, from determining if a prior authorization is even needed, to collecting data, to helping with workflow on the insurer's side. The backbone of the Claims Acceleration Suite is the Google Cloud tool Claims Data Activator which may make the prior auth process much faster than the current average of 10 days, according to the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid. A couple other technology platforms embedded into this process are MindShift and Pega, which are awesome names, by the way. MindShift software integrates with the EMR, checks patients' insurance benefits, immediately determines if a prior authorization is even needed, and then auto-populates forms with patient demographics and pertinent medical information. Health information then gets extracted and stored as structured data. And Pegas platform can make the review process for insurers more efficient by using AI to help with decision-making and automation of workflow. Now, obviously, one aspect that's missing is accountability and making sure people use these tools responsibly. Because let's be real, if this technology is not in the best interest of insurance companies, there might be some pushback. For example, if you look up who opposes legislation such as SB 598 in California, you'll see it's usually insurance providers or affiliated groups. But maintain the advocacy, it works. For example, United Healthcare recently announced that they're getting rid of 20% of prior authorizations. And one can imagine this is at least partially due to all the testimonials from people like us who actually take care of patients. But this isn't just a video about how much I dislike prior authorizations and loathe doing them because of the increase in workload and stress and the delays in patient care and the phone calls I get from patients who are panicking because they can't get their medications or their treatments in time because the insurance company is denying them. No, 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 this is about solutions. And personally, I like the direction that Google is headed because it may increase efficiency in the prior authorization process and transparency and accountability, something that our healthcare system needs way more of. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments section.